Hello, this is your girl Physology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Okay, so we are going to do a quick tutorial today. I'm on VU again, and this time it's going to be like a sweater type shirt, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to put a simple logo on it. I'm going to change the color of the sweater. So let's get started. I chose to derive from Manila this time. Manila is really good and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about where to get the code from so that way we can go into create mode so make sure you go into create mode let's get started have that GIMP open up as well so the person that I chose was Manila as I said before and I love deriving from Manila they have some good stuff they have male versions of things and female versions if you want the male version you just click on here but this is the female version and I chose the baggy and icy top this it comes in four parts so you want to right click save all these images to whatever you want to save it to and then you scroll down and you copy control C and then when you go into create modes you put in control V and your product will come up. So let's go to the product in GIMP. So we are in GIMP and this is what it looks like. This is the front, this is the back, and these are the sleeves. Okay, I want to color this a different color before I start. I was thinking white. But then again, you you never know. I, I, you know what? I change my mind a lot when it comes to these. But that's going to be okay. I'm going to hue chroma. And I'm going to do... I'm just going to make it lighter than what it is. And I'll say okay to that. And then I'm going to do the same. Filters repeat. Filters repeat filters repeat so I don't really have to do anything hard now I want to also add a layer so you're gonna right click new layer okay and you're gonna do that for every piece this is for the back okay new layer now I would like to I think I want to add some more color to it but not this so maybe like a tie-dye type of color to see what it looks like so let's see what the tie-dye would look like open as layer or even these plaids look good but I'm not going to do plaid this time. This is actually nice. That's not bad. And I'm going to do the same for this file. And luckily it's the whole size, so I don't really have to resize it. It's actually perfect. Um, and I'm going to do the same here. That's actually really perfect. So I don't have to resize it. Alright. That's perfect to me. Now, here I'm going to merge this down. And do the same here. Merge down. And do the same here. Merge down. And do the same here. Merge down. Now I'm going to play with the opacity on the side I love that 40.5 actually love it like this so I'm gonna keep it at 40.5 I'm gonna do the same over here 40.5 gonna do the same here 40.5 
do the same over here, 40.5. And now that I have that done, I merge it down. I merge this one down as well. Merge down. Merge down. Now I'm going to sharpen enhance. So you want to go to filters, enhance, sharpen. And it just sharpens it a little bit and you can play with it as much as you want. If you want a more exaggerated crease, you can do that. I will do the exaggeration and I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to do the filters, repeat, sharpen. And I'm going to do that for the sleeves. There. Now I'm going to save it. So I'm going to overwrite. Export. I'm going to do the same for this. Export. I'm going to do the same for this. Export. And I'm going to do the same for this. Export. Perfect. So now let's go back into VU to see how it looks. We want to make sure everything looks good. Let's go. So this is what the shirt looks like plain. It's not bad. You know, the shirt is not bad looking. So let's, let's upload these. Top. This is the front. That's the back. Gonna apply changes. Wow. So look at that. Look at it gives you a whole different type of shirt. I actually like it. I think it's cute. Now I'm going to save this. I want to put the logo right here, perfectly here. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go back into GIMP. Okay, we're back in GIMP. So I'm going to go File, Open as Layers, and I'm going to find Now it's kind of big. It's kind of big right now. So I'm going to scale the layer. I'm going to scale it to, hmm, let's say 150. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, the layer is too small. Look at that. Way too small. Way, way too small. I don't like how small that layer is. So I'm going to undo the move and undo scale layer. And I'm going to try it again. I'm going to say 250. Actually, let me just see what 300 looks like. All right. 300 is what I'm liking right now so far. So I'm going to move this up as far as I feel like moving it up. I just want to see what it looks like far up. I think it's cute. I think this is really cute that I chose this. Now I'm going to go layer. Merge down. I just want to see what it looks like. I'm not even going to sharpen it yet. Or it might not need sharpen. Let's go overwrite. So that's saved. Let's go back into VU to see what it looks like. Okay, we're back in VU. Let's see exactly what it looks like with the logo on it. Wow, that's not bad. I do feel like the the logo needs to be a little bit down more. Just a little bit down more. Because normally with logos, it's not all the way up here. So let me edit that. Let's go back into GIMP. 
I want to make things look perfect because the shirt is actually going to go into my shop. All right, so I'm going to edit, undo merge down, and I'm going to move this down some. I do want to move it down some, so maybe like right here. Layer, merge down, and I'm going to overwrite. And let's go back into VU to see what it looks like now. Okay, so now that I moved the layer down, aka the logo down, I'm going to see what it looks like. Wow, that's much better, actually. Much, much better. I actually like it. I love it, actually. This is going to be saved, and this will be available in my shop soon. So, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you'll know exactly when I'm uploading new content, and have a nice day. And if you have any questions or concerns, please comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I could.